Hey everybody, welcome to episode number 43 of What's That Pepper series. Today's video is going to be very different because I actually did not grow these pots. These are yellow Carolina Reapers. And uh, these came from Nick at the Chili Wonka's Pepper Factory. I will post all of the information below so you can go check out the website and uh, maybe you can get yourself some of these. So. Um, Nick is a member of the uh, of our pepper lovers community and uh, recently he posted pictures of these reapers and I was like man these things are so nice and cool looking I've never had one and I wanted to grow them so bad but um, I just didn't have room so I decided to skip it but uh, I kind of regret that I did because man these are gorgeous and I wish I grew at least one plant but luckily uh, Nick sent me a few um, he didn't ask me for this review, I just wanted to do it on my own because he was so nice to send me some. I, I wanted to try these really badly and uh, since I didn't have a plan so <laughs> I was going to buy some but uh, Nick decided that he would just send me a few to try uh, and if I like it I might grow these next year. So uh, let's take a look at the inside of the pepper. I'll cut it open and show you what it looks like and then we'll taste it. All right, guys, here it is, the Carolina Reaper Yellow. This it was grown by Nick at uh, the Chili Wonka's Pepper Factory. Uh, man, these things are gorgeous. I mean, I just love the color, the shape, and, uh, you know, I always love these circular bonnet shape and then that little tail in the middle. They're all like this. Um, he sent me a, a bunch of them, and they all look like this, but I picked the best one to show you guys. Um, very nice and firm. Uh, I'm, this is pretty late in the evening, so the, the the video may not do the pepper justice, but these things are just gorgeous. They're nice and firm. I wanted to do this before the plants uh, kind of wilted and become soft. So uh, that's, that's how it looks. Man, this is really, really nice and pretty, nice and firm. It, it looks a little bit different than the red one because the red one it looks crazy mean. Oh, I actually have one right here. This is the red one right here. And a lot of the reapers, the red variety looks exactly like this. They look very, very intimidating. They're, they're bright red and when they, uh, they're ready to be picked. And as you can see, these are not as bumpy. They don't look very intimidating. They, they look pretty uh, more than intimidating. Look at this crazy tail from the reaper. Um, let's see what else is the same. So this is a very smooth, uh, kind of shiny skin, uh, wrinkle there, but the tail, yeah, the tail looks very much the same. The shape is a little uh, similar as well. Uh, the red reapers are usually a lot smaller in size. These seems to be a little larger much more firm and I'm sure that the, the wall would be thicker than the, the red one as well and I, I've read around and that uh, the yellow is not as hot as the red one so we'll pick one a good one and we'll cut it open and so you can see the inside we'll, we'll take this one here Alright, here's the inside. The wall's thicker than the red one. Uh, good amount of seeds, small, small placenta. I, I like these kind of pepper where they're kind of, all of the seeds are collected in that little area. So if I want to remove it, I just slice it here, slice it here, and it just it comes right out. Very nice looking on the inside. Uh, smells pretty good. It smells hot. <laughs> um, it does have a, a the similar smell to uh, the red cousin but not not as pronounced I mean the red one you can smell it immediately and you can smell that it's very very hot this one you can smell um, it's similar but um, not as strong so that's the, uh, the as I mentioned the wall is a little thicker than the the red cousin uh, there's some oil in there looks very pretty 
Okay, so uh, let me cut a piece and try it. I have my gloves on again because anything that has a reaper in the name, you want to be careful with those. So that, that should be good. All right, guys, you have seen the inside of these gorgeous peppers. Man, I just love the shape of these things. I, I may grow this uh, in, the, in the near future, next season, because it looks so pretty. I, I love growing a nice looking varieties. So this is definitely one of the, the must grow for me. So I, I searched around for information about this and there's a few sources that said certain people created it. I went to the, uh, the parent company, Pucker Butt Pepper Company, and I did not find this. But uh, these uh, varieties, uh, were I think they were created a few years ago. I've, I've seen this in 2015, so they may have been created before that. So they have been around. Uh, I don't hear them often, but until recently, I mean, a lot, a few people are, are growing this on uh, our G Plus community, and now I really want to grow some. <laughs> so if you want seeds for this, uh, make sure to check uh, Chili Wonka's Pepper Factory. Uh, Nick also sells uh, chocolate, um, uh, small flat rate boxes of uh, various pepper varieties. I mean, he grows this all himself. So the uh, and and he posts a lot of the pictures on uh, our our community, so you can actually see what he's growing. I mean, these are quality stuff. So it's always nice to see the, the you know what 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 uh, the the people are growing and then buy them, and you know it's like you get to see it before you buy it. And uh, I ordered actually I ordered chocolate last year for my Christmas party from uh, Nick. Uh, these truffles, they're, they're infused with Jay's Peach Ghost Truffle. They are amazing. So if you have not tried those, I highly recommend uh, trying those chocolate. Uh, the, the, the funny thing is, uh, you know, they, they have Jay's Peach Peppers in it, but then, you know, the chocolate and the sugar sort of like mask the heat. So you get heat and then the sugar wash it out. So it's, it's a really odd but awesome uh, combination. And when you buy it, uh, I, I would recommend cutting up because they come in, in like little small circular truffles. So it's, it's a big piece to bite. So what I do is I cut them in, in small pieces and then I put them in the fridge for, for overnight. And then the next day, man, they are amazing. So uh, check out the chocolate truffles. I highly recommend those. He also sells hot sauce and... Uh, I have not tried the hot sauce yet, but uh, there's a few people uh, on our community that have already tried it, so they, they say it's pretty good as well. But uh, I will order me a few bottles in the future. Uh, I think he also has candies and t-shirts, peppers, seeds. So if you want seeds for these beautiful varieties, make sure you check it out. So anyway, so um, let's try it out. <laughs> Yellow Reaper, uh, the heat is not as hot as the red one, as I mentioned, but they, they are, I mean, the Scoville units is up there. It's very, very high. It's considered super hot. Smells just like the, the red. Okay. Nice, thick, warm, very crunchy, sweet, slow build. Reapers are always slow build. I can feel the heat coming. Tastes very similar too, but uh, this one has more of a citrus flavor. I took a pretty good piece. It's hot, but it's not as hot as I was what what I was expecting. Good flavor. See, I'm I'm waiting for the heat to come on because that's what happened when I ate the Reaper. Wow. Very pleasant taste. Uh, doesn't have any bitterness. Good, nice, a little fruity you know my mild sweetness doesn't have that um that strong aroma like the red one but the heat 
It's hot, but it's burning the back of the tongue, a little bit of my chest, warmth on the chest right here. But um, <clears throat> very nice and crunchy. Man, I don't know if it's not as hot or my tolerance has gone up a bit. But when I ate that red one, man, they don't they destroy me. It's still it's still hot, but it's manageable hot heat. <clears throat> yeah, so <laughs> so um definitely not as hot as the the cousin. But uh, it's very nice, firm and crunchy. Mouth sweetness. So it, overall, it's a good pepper. I, I think if you if you make hot sauce with this, it, it could be a, a very nice pepper. And for those that uh, like to eat pepper raw as well, the, uh, they it's very decent as well. I mean, throw a few pieces of this in your salad; it will heat things up. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for the heat, but that's it. That's Okay, <laughs> yeah, so uh, Yellow Reaper, beautiful, beautiful variety. Uh, I'm, I still don't know who the original creator uh, of this variety is, but um, seeds are available on Nick's web, web page, so I'll, I'll post all of the uh, information below. You can go there and check it out, uh, check out the chocolate, I highly recommend that. And uh, that's it. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.